Good morning, y'all. It's Lippy. It's Wednesday. So what is that? That's where we share one of our fellow friends' recipes dating back in the day. But when I received this recipe through email and the story that Miss Joanne shared with me, I was like, this is the one for this week, Lippy. Hands down. Now, I had to do modifications, and I'll show y'all how I, I had to modify it just a little. But Miss Joanne said that this was once called a banana breeze. And it was found on the back of a can of Eagle brand condensed milk. It was made into a graham cracker crust. Over the years, many years, she has modified this. But here's the story. Her husband and grandson make this recipe for her, the, the one she modified, every year because she knew they couldn't mess this one up. So the grandson now makes this for Miss Joanne every year. And the grandfather, he just oversees it. But she gave me a little back history and I was like, how special is this? And then I thought, you know, she took something from years back, made it work, changed the name to current times. See there again, it's bringing something from way back to current days that we can now bring back to the forefront. We can share these old recipes. Some of you may remember that banana breeze. I don't actually remember it. it in my mind, I remember some kind of banana something or another in a uh, graham cracker crust, but not really. I couldn't tell you if that was it or not. So, the new name is going to be called Miss Joanne's Strawberry Banana No-Bake Trifle. Now, if you don't have a trifle dish, you could do this in a 9 by 13 But the key to this is strawberries. As she said, well, y'all know Lippy is allergic to strawberries. She also said you could do the canned uh, pie filling, like the cherries and the blueberries and all of that. I opted for, to try to stay true to the recipe, raspberries. So I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I'm putting into to my dish today. But in the description, I'm going to have the original recipe and list all the ingredients that you're going to need according to Miss Joanne's list. Now, as far as the graham cracker crust, you can use crushed graham crackers. You can use pound cake. You can get it at the store, cut it up in little squares, or what I had on hand, vanilla wafers. So, I'm going to use vanilla wafers. So I'll show you the ingredients and we're going to get this going because it has to chill three to four hours or overnight. So if I rush and I get it in the refrigerator and stop doing all of this, I'll be able to sample sooner than later. You're going to need a mixer, three bananas, a can of sweetened condensed milk, eight ounces of room temperature softened cream cheese, one third of a cup of lemon juice plus one tablespoon. You're gonna need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're gonna need one to one and a half quarts of fresh fruit. Now, like I said, I'm exchanging the strawberries for raspberries and blackberries. And this is what you're going to need. Okay, this was started last night. Miss Joanne says you use a half a cup of sugar to put over your strawberries if you were using strawberries. Stir setting to the fridge overnight, and then you'll have to drain the juice. So what I did was I put a fourth of a cup of sugar on my blackberries 
and the other fourth, which is my half a cup over my raspberries and a lot of juice. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move y'all over. I'm gonna drain the juice. That's all I'm doing is draining the juice off of these berries and putting them back into the bowl. Okay, that's all you gotta do. Okay, we've got our raspberries drained and now I'm just gonna slice our three bananas, okay? And I'm just gonna do just a standard slice, guys. I mean, I'm gonna make them thick enough, see, to where we know it's bananas in here. We have our bananas cut up with our raspberries and she says to add one tablespoon of lemon juice. We're gonna reserve the one third cup. Let's set it to the side and gently fold. We don't wanna tear them bananas, but what that lemon juice is gonna do, is gonna keep them from turning. Now, we will drain this again. After we get it good and incorporated, we will drain it. As you can see the liquid that's in there. You don't want it wet. We've got them draining. And what I've done is I just come in and I just lightly turn to allow the liquid to run out because we have another step to do. So they'll be fine sitting here. Okay, we're gonna add, ooh, that's soft, our eight ounces of cream cheese to our mixer. Now, you definitely wanna be using your paddle. Don't use your whisk. You can change it if you want to later, but I'm gonna go ahead and stay with the paddle. All right, we're gonna get this on. I know it's gonna be loud, but we need to start it on low, move it up, and we're gonna whip this until it's smooth and fluffy, about two minutes. Okay, I've got it very smooth. It's not fluffy yet like I want it or like the recipe is indicating. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the sides and we're gonna let it go another minute. Now we're going in with the good stuff, y'all. We're gonna add the sweetened condensed milk. Oh, my word. I mean, when you're adding sweetened condensed milk, you know it's gonna be good. I mean, it, it cannot not be good. Back down, and this is where she says you wanna really mix this till it gets combined. Okay, we're gonna scrape down the sides. One day I'm gonna get me one of them, uh, what you call them things? They, they got the little scraper hooked to it. Y'all, I've had this mixer since 2005. Yeah, it was the first, well, it was Christmas. It was actually the Christmas that we bought our first of a, uh, one, two, three homes, four homes. My daughter got one that year too. Okay, we're gonna go back down. Here we go. That looks good. Now she says to add the one third cup of lemon juice. But she said use this trick so it doesn't splatter everywhere. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna start off slow.
Alright, we're gonna crank it up. I let it whip for two minutes. Wow. Wow. Oh, my, my, my. Okay, I just need a spoon. Oops, I got a little bit of the red in here, but that's okay. All right, that's gonna be just fine. Thank you, Miss Joanne. It does make a splatter mess. So, I just had a mess on the mixer. It wasn't all on the cabinets. So guys, make sure you cover that mixer because it will splatter on you. All right, I've got my mixer done. Now we're gonna set up the assembly line because oops, we gotta get, it's unplugged guys. Before I ever touch my mixer, I always unplug it. All right, we're gonna get the assembly line going. We're about to make a trifle. But like I said, you could do it in a nine by 13 or do it in a pie form. I think it'll be fine. Oh yeah, y'all can see good. I hope you can. I'm still using my lamp, guys. <laughs> I gotta get one of them halos. All right, this is where you would either put uh, crushed graham, crack, uh, graham crackers. I think she said it would take a whole box. Or this is where you would put your diced uh, pound cake at the bottom. I'm gonna choose vanilla wafers, okay? Now, I don't get fancy with my vanilla wafers when I'm dealing with the bottom of a trifle. Now, I do when I come up the sides. A lot of times, I'll do the banana pudding in this. Uh, you know, when we have barbecues or something like that, everyone wants banana pudding. So, I knew that this would be a hit using vanilla wafers. Okay. A little bit more. This is really, I guess, up to the amount that you want. We like them, and we're going to use quite a bit because I want a good coating on the bottom. Okay, the next step, she said, is to add. Now, we're going to be layering this. I did a small amount. In order for me to truly fill this up, it would have probably taken double amounts, but I don't care if it just goes halfway. You know, it's plenty for us. And I'm just going to come in lightly with a scoop, see how that goes. Oh yeah, because all you're trying to do is just get a good layer on the bottom. All right, that's gonna work out good. And then, this is where you would come in with your strawberries and bananas. I'm not gonna mix my raspberries and my blueberries because it's almost the 4th of July. So you see where I'm going. We're gonna have some red, white, and blue. This is gonna be beautiful. Now, we're gonna do the red. That's the raspberry and bananas. Y'all, if I, if I go skim, <laughs> I might be able to fill it up. Cause you really need a thicker layer than what I'm doing. That's a good amount. Are you following it? I'm gonna bring the camera up over it. Can you see down in there? All right, I'm gonna do one more layer and then the uh, blackberries. You could do blueberries. Um, remember, she said that she's even used canned fruit before, the uh, pie filling. And I could see where that would be great too. So really, this is a dish you can make for your family's palate, kind of like I can have strawberries. So I'm opting for raspberries. Yes. Now, these didn't gel as well as the raspberries. So I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle these around so you can see the color in the trifle. There we go. See what I'm doing? And then, there we go. Then we can just put a couple of them oop, through the center. Get back over here. There we go. You can really make it however you want. All right. I'm just going to keep with the layering, which is going to be the wafers, the filling, the fruit, wafers, and so on.
I think I got it all cleaned up, ready to go into the icebox. I didn't get to the top, even though I was trying. Look at this side. Look, y'all. Can you see that? You see those layers, and you got the blues and the reds and the whites. And then she said you could put some strawberries on top, you know, to indicate that it was strawberry. I'm going to go see if that little piece of mint is coming back. I'd like to put a mint leaf there and a little bitty toothpick American flag. You know, you can get those. Stick that in there. Hey, you're off to the races. Simple, very inexpensive. You may have the fruit in your freezer. Uh, you may have pie filling in your pantry. Graham crackers, vanilla wafers, make you a pound cake. Everybody has condensed milk and cream cheese, or at least Lippy does. That's just a staple. Y'all, you could whip this up, take this. I mean, look. All right, I'm gonna clean up. I gotta wait, she said, three to four hours or overnight. I'm only waiting three hours, so I'll be back. We sampling this thing. This is absolutely gorgeous. What? Oh, mm -mm. this is going to be stupid good. I just tasted the filling. It's got that little pucker of lemon, but it's got that sweetest. I mean, it's like the old timey icebox lemon pie. Remember with the lemon juice and yeah, I can see this is going to be a winner. See y'all in a little while. It's taste test time. Look at this. It's heavy, I know that. I'm just going to do a small sample. Just a small sample. <laughs> y'all know I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking for the side that's got the, the most fruit. And I think I picked it up. Can you imagine how good it's gonna be tomorrow? Oh my word. All right, y'all know me in this hand, I'm fixing to drop you. You got to see this. What? Can y'all see? Oh my word. Do y'all just get all silly like I do with food? It's such a blessing to have, and it's such a treat. Uh, and then vanilla wafers did exactly what they would do in a banana pudding. But like I said, she said you can use graham crackers, pound cake. I'm going in. Sweet baby Jesus. I could kiss you right now, Miss Joanne. Hmm. Oh, my word. Y'all, I'm not saying this to say it. I'm not going to try a recipe looking at the ingredients. I know I'm reaching to get my coffee. If I look at ingredients, I'm like, okay, can I substitute this for this or... Stay true to the recipe. Sometimes I won't do it. This here, when I read it, not just the story that this is made every year for her birthday, but when I read it and she explained to me, because I wasn't thinking pie filling when I first read it. Guys, this is not just for a holiday. I see so many fruits that could be used and I'm telling you, the kicker is, it's that little bit of lemon, that condensed milk, that cream cheese, but the old lemon icebox pies that was made with condensed milk, I believe it was lemon juice and Cool Whip, something like that. It has that little hint of texture and flavor. 
And then that sweetness of that fruit, it's still holding, it's a little bit of tartness, so it's still holding. So that's why that half a cup of sugar, but remember I split it, you know, into a fourth of a cup and a fourth of a cup, you know, over raspberries and blackberries. You drained that. That just pulled some of the moisture out. It really didn't change the tartness, but you get a hint of a sweetness. This is just crazy. Mm-hmm. Hands down, probably the best summer dessert I personally have ever eaten. And I wouldn't say it just to say it. Y'all know me by now. Hands down. This is one to definitely make. It's gonna check all the boxes. And I'm so glad that I had vanilla wafers. It happens to be one of my favorite little cookies to layer with. Mm. I gotta cook supper, y'all. We're having, let's see, stir fry. So I got to get to cooking. This was just to give me energy to get dinner going. But as always, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. Hugs, Miss Joanne. Tell your grandson, keep on keeping on. He'll make a fine chef one day. <laughs>